the form in a big robot. Newgrounds, the website I grew up on. The holy grail of 2000's Edge. Back when I first started wandering on that website like a nomad, creation after creation, I was around 9 years old with unrestricted internet access. I was exposed to all sorts of screwed up content at the time, like that one Pico's school game. It was a leisurely kind of fucked up however. Despite the fact that some of these games made it onto BBC News, I'm not joking, most normal people didn't bat an eye and still let us have our fun, and even now, we're still going strong. The website still has its fair share of rules though, even if people don't think so. There's this underjudgment system where brand new games and movies are marked by review so people can determine if they're good enough. Sometimes it's abused, sometimes it isn't. Kind of a clusterfuck of a democracy, if you know what I mean. Sometimes though, there are times where everyone on the site can agree if something needs to be handled with the authorities. Hell, there was this one idiot who threatened to set his school on fire back in 2009, if I remember correctly. Now that my introduction is out of the way, I'd like to get into what I really came here to talk about. There's an animation that I've been looking for. It was put in the under judgment page and was taken down in less than a day, but I have never seen anyone talk about it. Not even on the Newgrounds forums. I'm not sure if anyone else saw it aside from me, but I haven't seen a single video or search effort for it, and all I have proving its existence is a snapshot from my codec that I had saved on an SD card for years. I guess having a weird way to keep track of new games I wanted to play really paid off. The user who posted the animation went by the name, GB Warhead 88 and the name of the submission was, MyMeltdown.SWF. Yes, the title had the file name in it, with the description of the video simply saying, I want it. The submission's age rating was marked as E for everyone, which was strange to see, because this animation wasn't even close to being for kids. My assumption is that the guy who made the video wanted people to listen to him and understand where he was coming from. I'll get into what I'm talking about in a second. Once the submission loaded, a poorly drawn red button with the words play me would appear on screen against a plain black background. Upon clicking, a messy digital drawing of a man, quite fitting for a flash animation, would show up on the screen, placed in a snow angel position against the darkness. Here is the best way for me to describe him. He had a lanky build, with greasy, tangled hair grown down to his collarbone. He sported nothing but a tied bathrobe, and to top it all off, tumbleweed-like scribbles were plastered over his face. No eyes, no mouth, nothing. Just chicken scratch. White noise accompanied by sounds of a TV at low volume and a ceiling fan would play on, all while different drawings of said man lying against the ground would fade at different angles. Finally, after stopping at a specific angle where he was facing the viewer, a voice could be heard. I haven't left my house in four weeks. Between seven second intervals, the background would slowly fade into darkened pictures of what seemed to be news articles and reports, with the man pasted in front of them as if he were a transparent image. Each headline revolved solely around missing person reports, as well as descriptions of these headlines discussing what happened to said people when they were found, usually involving sexual assault or battery. I've been alone for that long. I don't know why my lazy ass didn't take the chance to go with them that day. They were just going to the store. How was I supposed to know this would happen? That's when a specific newspaper article would come into view. It was another missing persons report, involving one adult female and two children. The description of the article stated that they were last seen outside of a Kroger supermarket, and they were taken into a white Honda Pilot. Witnesses reported seeing the captor masked with a pair of square lens glasses to the point where he was less recognizable to the human eye. From what I have gathered in the video, they still haven't been found, as the report seemed fairly recent at the time. I've been living off of ramen from my pantry for a few days. I was afraid of going out there and getting taken myself. I was... was... The scribbles began to engulf his face further, even overlaying his hair slightly. 
The news reports faded into the darkness in the background as the camera zoomed into his face every time he caught a breath to speak. Was, now, I want to be dragged out. Like an old rug. Take me instead. If you can't, kill me like you killed them. I lost all hope, and it's your fault, whoever you are. Only God knows what could have happened to my kids. I can't even bear to think about it. I hope you're satisfied with yourself, because I give up. I give up trying to stay safe. The background sounds would fade into pure silence. The camera was now zoomed into the man's face, now shrouded with nothing but a black shadow, the same color as the background he lied upon. A moment of silence erupts for a few seconds. Hello? Please use me as a knife sharpener. I'm sure you'll like it. You sick fuck. After a few more seconds of silence, a mouth engulfing the entirety of the man's face would open wide, and the sound of a screaming cat pounded against the speakers. The background was now rapidly flashing white with an image of a house, at a seizure-inducing pace. The man would disappear afterward, with text appearing on the screen. The text had what is assumed to be the animator's real home address and lines upon lines saying, I want it. Sounds of ear-piercing buzzes, police sirens, and weird chiptune music with the same melody played repeatedly. Over and over. Looking back on this video, I realize what kind of torment was going on with the animator. His wife and kids seemed to be victims of human trafficking, and he was so distraught over what had happened that he snapped, eventually ending up wanting to face the same fate they had. Hence why he showed his address and picture of his own home at the end of the video. Searching for this animation now would bring you absolutely no luck. I don't know if the submission was taken down by someone marking it under review, or by the creator himself, as there isn't even a link leading to that usual tombstone page that deleted pages get on the site, strangely enough. If anyone manages to find this video, I implore you not to make it public. I'd much rather prefer if you informed me in the replies below with your contact information. If I am to post the video, I would rather me or you blur out this poor guy's house first. One last thing I wanted to spit out. To GB Warhead 88, whatever your name is, if you're still alive and reading this, I hope from the bottom of my heart that you've gotten the help you need, and I'm sorry about what happened with your loved ones. May they fly high.